In today's video, I wanna show you guys on how you can make a daily journal on Google Sheets. So that way you could track your daily achievements, accomplishments, reflection of how you're feeling. Now the good thing about this daily journal is that it doesn't take up any physical space as since it's all digital. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. Okay, so here I am on Google Sheets. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new blank spreadsheet. So obviously there are a couple things that I want in my journal, but uh, feel free to follow along, add a couple of the things that you want and modify it yourself. So what I'm gonna do is obviously I'm gonna add a little bit of space, like a, uh, like a spacer to this. And this sheet one is actually gonna be a template, right? You're gonna make a template for, you know, for to be used today, tomorrow, uh, so on and so forth. So just keep this as a template. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rename it as template. So you can go ahead and copy this and uh, date it accordingly. Now what I wanna do here is I'm just gonna title this daily journal. And as you can see here, I'm not doing it in the exact corner, just, just so there's some space. Uh, and it just so it looks better, looks nicer, right? So there you go, daily journal. And I'm just gonna go ahead and you know add a date here. And this date obviously will change as you fill it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it bigger, align it to the right, and you can go ahead and put your date here. So for example, if today's uh, January 4th, I'll do one for 25. And happy new year to everybody. As you can see, it is the new year. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that since this is a template document. Um, we're gonna go ahead and date it later uh when you know we actually fill this out with this daily journal you can go ahead and uh fill out whatever you want but a couple things that i wanna that i like at least is for example uh like a mood tracker like uh how i felt today for example right um this is going to be like a you know just a good like how did you feel today how are you feeling and what i like to do with this one is sometimes i like to uh, just add a drop down and this drop down, uh, you could actually make it into um, like an emoji. So <clears throat> you have a list of like how you're feeling today, how, you know, the mood that you felt. So if you hit the windows button and the dot, or, you know, I don't know how you do it with Mac, but if you get your emoji keyboard out, um, you can go ahead and do that. And I'm just gonna add a couple options here. So I'm gonna add a happy face guy. I'm gonna add like a smiling guy here. And as you can see, I've already kind of did this earlier. Um, I'm gonna do a straight face for like, not maybe maybe you're not feeling the happiest um i'm gonna add a sad and i'm also going to add like a like a crying one okay so you're ranging emotions from happy to sad and that's something you could do for sure with this drop down so um how i felt today you can go ahead and fill this out i'm going to go ahead and enlarge this just so that way you can um uh change it up so you have this uh happy gloomy whatever so um you can go ahead and do that so with that i could go ahead and also type in the weather right so like for example you could reflect back on today's weather maybe it was a clear weather maybe it was um, a little gloomy of weather so i'm going to go ahead and have a weather one here as well and again you can do the same thing you can right click hit drop down here or you can do insert and then drop down same thing right drop down and you could do uh some weather choices so you can do like cloudy for example you could do uh, sunny, right? You could do rain, like a thunder, thundering rain, or you could just do like regular rain, like this. Um, doesn't really matter, however you wanna uh, do this, right? And what you could do as well is enlarge this. So I'm gonna match this to 20 font, like so. So there you go, so now you have weather. Uh, I'm just gonna underline them as well, just so they look better. So I'm using control U here for underlining. Uh, control you and how I felt today <laughs> so you have how you feel today the weather and also a couple things that I want to do on a daily reflection right daily journal is you want to do like uh, things I'm grateful for so you have uh, you know a list of things that you're grateful for and what you can do here as well is you could actually <clears throat> uh, merge this so what you can do is you can actually do like a list so like one two three right to kind of like list it out here so what you can do is one two three and then I can, i'm gonna go ahead and select this and merge it just so you have you know uh, different things and different lists that you're grateful for so merge cells i'm gonna go ahead and also underline this as well <clears throat> and then over here you can do like uh let's see um today's affirmation to go just kind of like you know have a sense of after like to affirm of like what you did today and you know like what <clears throat> different affirmations that you have today uh really just 
however you want to uh, work this out. But since today's affirmation is like a solid, uh, like a big block, I'm going to go ahead and merge this, all these cells. You could go ahead and merge, you know, three or four columns of them. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and merge this. And I could also add like a little border just to make sure uh, they're like, you know, I'm aware that there's this box here. Um, there's also a couple things like, for example, uh, uh, what I have achieved today. And you can do something like what I will achieve tomorrow, right? These are great um, reflection points again. So what I've achieved today, I'm going to do another one, two, three list here. And I'm going to go ahead and merge this as well. So I'm merging these cells together. Um, there you go. And what I will achieve tomorrow. So again, another list of one, two, three just merging the cells and what you can do as well is uh, you can don't, don't forget to also like when you're writing on this box you can see that it might uh, go over so what it's happen what's happening is that it's not wrapping it the text correctly so if you go over here actually do text wrapping and make sure that um, you put wrap the text will now start to wrap right so you won't have that overflow and I think it's good to do that too uh, all these cells as well where you're kind of uh, writing a lot of things in just in case if you you know write a lot um, the text will wrap and it won't it won't like make it look ugly and overflow okay so I'm gonna go ahead and underline this as well I'm using again control U to underline this <laughs> so again daily journal you have uh, how you felt today you know weather things you're grateful for um, overall review for today so for example if you have you know just other notes that you want to write down as well you can go ahead and do that i'm going to go ahead and make this like a large box here um and i'm going to go ahead and merge them again everything you're merging make sure you wrap it so it comes out nice and i'm also just adding a border here as well just so um, you can see that hey there's a border here for your overall review you can also change the border weight as well or the border color um for now i'm just keeping the borders black and changing the weight maybe to like uh this thicker thicker line maybe I don't know if it's not working but there you go oh it's a little too much let's do it like this there you go so I have today's affirmations things I'm grateful for um, we can also do something like uh, what I'm looking forward to um, and again I'm just gonna make it large underline it <clears throat> couple things one two three same thing here where you can kind of merge the cells and make sure you wrap it you wrap the text so merge cell merge cell here and merge cell here and go ahead and wrap this right and then last but not least you could have something like a to-do list again you can format this however way you want it um, but this is the way I would have like my journal for example and when you have a to-do list down here you can go ahead and kind of <clears throat> Let's see. We'll do it like this. We'll we'll merge uh, we'll merge these cells like this. Cut, you know, make a couple items here of what to do. Um, four and five. And what you can do with the to-do list as well is you can also just add like a bottom a bottom border. So for all of them, for example, you can go ahead and um, like make it. How do you say this? Like have different borders, but. <laughs> have horizontal borders like this and also bottom border like so. So now you have, like you can actually type here, whatever you wanna type. And it's like a, it's a list, it's a list of things. So I'm gonna go ahead and merge these as well. Same thing, merge it per line. And I will also add those lines as well. So almost done here with the journal and you can see that I could kind of expand this if I want to. <clears throat> and add the borders as I've done it. So horizontal borders and have one underneath it for this bottom one. So cool. Now what I can do here is you can actually start formatting this. So you can go ahead if you want, you know, just for art, artsy, artsy style, right? You can go ahead and kind of just color the, the edges of the border. So if you want, you can make it, you know, whatever color you want it to be. Um, for example, I'll do this nice yellow over here. Daily journal, you can go ahead and make this a little larger if you want. You could change the font of everything. So for example here, I have the default Arial font You can go ahead and change it to you know, whatever font you like. So this is a Lexan font um, You can go ahead and change it to Montserrat Really just you know, whatever feels good or whatever fits the vibe 
um, I'll, I'll leave it to this for now, but um, we can always change it later. How I felt today, you can go ahead and change these um, like little these little categories in the top. You can go ahead and change it. And you can change the cell colors for you know what I'm grateful for. So for that one, you can make it yellow, or you can make it um, you know this pink right here. Today's affirmation. You can go ahead and make it like that. What I've achieved today, that's kind of like a green, like, oh, like this is what I did. What I'll achieve tomorrow, I can make it like a, another yellow, for example. Um, overall review for today, it's like a neutral color. We'll do like a blue. What I'm looking forward to, this is like a, like a, I would say like a green color, right? What I'm looking forward to, things I'm grateful for, to-do list. This one, I will make it this red color, just so. Um, yeah, so as you can see here, Things are starting to look better. Um, I could go ahead and bold these different sections too if I want to. Uh, it just depends on how you want to format it and whatever looks good. But as you can see here that my journal is you know, kind of complete. You could again add different sections, you could change things up here if you want. But this is basically a good template. And as you can see here, let's just try to fill one out for example, right? So I'm going to go ahead and actually duplicate this. So before you fill out any... Um, entries you want to make sure you duplicate the template and when you hit duplicate you can go ahead and rename it so today for example is January 4th you could do 1425 for example so this is you know an entry of its own and if you ever want to do one for tomorrow again duplicate the template rename it to January 5th or whatever day it is tomorrow right so for example let's just say today's the end of the day and I want to you know show how I feel today so today I'm gonna date it you know 1425 how I felt today, today I just felt happy. Like I, maybe I didn't feel the happiest, but I felt happy today. Weather, looking a little clear, looking sunny. Things I'm grateful for. Well, what are some of the things I'm grateful for? Well, I'm happy that I can, uh, I'm able to record a video, for example. Um, another thing I'm grateful for is I had a really good dinner, for example. Oh, and another one is, for example, uh, good weather was able to look good. So a couple things that you're grateful for. What I achieved today, obviously you would wanna fill it out here. Overall review for today, you would wanna fill it out here as well. Again, make sure you have text wrapping, so that way it'll wrap here. You can also change it, so you see how it's vertically aligned to the bottom? You could um, make it so it aligns to the top, right? Um, so make sure you do that to the template. Whatever changes you're making, make sure you change it to the template. So hit top here for overall review. And same here as well, top for today's affirmations. Any of these big text boxes, you wanna make it uh, aligned to the top. So um, there you go. So you can go ahead and fill this out uh, however, we, however way you want it, but you can see here that it's a pretty good daily journal. You know, we were able to log it without taking any physical space. I'm just gonna title this daily journal template. And you can go ahead and also change it. So sometimes you don't want the grid lines to show. So if you take off view, show, grid lines it won't really like uh you can't see the lines just so maybe that this way it looks cleaner to you right maybe this way it doesn't look as cluttered so same thing here on the template you can hit view and then take off the grid lines just so that way like you kind of already know you have a one two three here you already know where to type so that way it won't uh clutter up your workspace and it doesn't like confuse you right this looks much cleaner than it was with the grid lines on. So that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, daily journal as well on Google Sheets. It's a great way, I think, to reflect on your day and fill it out without wasting paper and without and taking any physical space. So everything is logged digitally. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.